Hello everyone, my name is Endeavor, and welcome back to another episode from the single player survival world. Okay, so last time we worked on these interiors, we did this honey warehouse, which everyone seemed to really like, and we also did the interiors of a few of the houses around here as well. So we added a new roof inside the storage building, and then we also did a few of the interiors in these new houses around here. And a few people gave me a few tips, a few ideas that I could try, and I definitely want to do that. And I will definitely do that. But today, I have a big project in mind. And it's going to take quite a bit of time. So I just want to get straight on with it. So let's get down there. And we'll have a look at what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we're down in what is going to be the sewers eventually. And this leads to my quad witch up perimeter. That I have did a few episodes ago now. And this is what I want to get started on very, very soon. I want to start building these witch farms. But before I can get on with that, there's something that needs addressing. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Just through here, I have got my current iron farm. I know it looks very simple, but this thing has served me very, very well. This is a Razeworks design that he came up with in 1.14 when the iron farm design has changed. And it's, it's great. It's, I absolutely love this thing. It's definitely done me well, and I have got a ton of iron out of this thing. But I'm going to need to go bigger. This is not going to do me for what I need. I'm going to need a ton of hoppers for what I'm working on. And... For doing more techie projects, I'm just going to need to go absolutely crazy. So if anyone follows my Ramblecraft series, you'll know that I have built a crazy iron farm on there. Look, this thing still works. Look at him. Look at him go. The iron farm I've built on Ramblecraft, I was actually going to go one bigger on here just to be even more crazy. But the thing is, that farm I've got on there is absolutely mad. I'm building my whole base on Ramblecraft out of iron blocks. And I still run out of storage all the time. I'm constantly crafting iron and I use so much of it. So I think I'm not building any rooms or bases out on here out of iron. So it would be absolutely mad to go even bigger than the one I've got on there. So I'm going to be building the exact same farm, but we are going to decorate it a little bit differently. And we may do something slightly different with the killing area as well. So the first thing I need to do, this is actually going quite fast, isn't it? I didn't realize it was this fast, but anyway, the thing I need to get done first is do a little bit again. So I am actually going to dismantle this farm. I'm going to keep these villages safe and... It may sound strange to say it, but I really need to keep this guy safe because if any golems do spawn accidentally while I've got the villagers breeding up, because I need 12 villagers, I've only got three down here at the moment. So I'm just going to breed these ones up to get the 12, but I need to keep this guy safe. Just in case any golems spawn accidentally, I don't want them killing him because trapping zombies is not fun. So let's try and get these safe and then we can get on with some digging. Okay, so the first thing I need to do I think is to block this off and then it'll stop the villagers being scared and once they're not scared anymore we shouldn't get any more golems so I don't know how much I actually need to block off but I think something like that should work because they shouldn't be able to see him now I see they're not jumping around now so that should stop the golem spawning right so I'll leave the lava there for now just in case but we'll take this water out like that right he's jumping up and down but these are actually allowed to sleep now so if they could see him they would be jumping out of the bed and would get golden spawning but that's going all right okay so let's get rid of this water i'm going to remove that lava fill in that floor and then i'm going to drop him down and hopefully get him in a minecart what could possibly go wrong all right so get rid of this string remove these And then we'll just fill this in with iron blocks. Right. Okay, so can I... Right, I'm going to build blocks around... Uh, yeah, that's a better idea, isn't it? I'm going to build blocks around him. Uh, he can't jump out. That's all right. Uh, do this. And have him go down there like that. Now, if I build these all the way down to the floor... And I just need a space where I can actually reach that cauldron... Actually, yeah, let's do it. This. Let's do it the front. I'm calling this front. I don't know if it is, but okay. Alright, so if I leave that one open as well, then I can get a rail in there. Should I do that first? Yeah, I'm going to do that first. Okay, so if we just put a rail there, is that right? And then we can bring those down. And if we break this cauldron, actually, can we just put a minecart straight in? Would that work? Put a minecart there. And then we break this. Are you in there? I 
don't think he's in there, is he? I don't know what. If I break this and put the glass there. Actually, if he's not in there, he's going to run out, isn't he? Let's try it. All right. If I put that like, yeah, it can come out. Yes, there we go. So he's sat in there now. Excellent. Right. I need to put you somewhere where any iron golems won't be able to get you. Right. Please don't tear me. Uh, go that way. Thank you. Alright, I'm doing this for your own protection. Go, go that way. Why are you not get in the... There we go, thank you. Okay. Alright, that's reasonably well protected, but I am actually going to put a lot of blocks on this guy. So, right. I'm going to the rest of this off camera. I'm just going to get these villagers somewhere safe and start breeding them and then we'll get on with some digging. Okay, so I built a little pool to catch these villagers and the first two went nice and easy. So you'd think the third one would be the same, but no. This guy got away. So I chased him around the whole length of the room trying to get him into a minecart. And as he was going up the steps, I panicked a little bit, but luckily I managed to do it pretty easily. So let's go on with some digging. Okay, so we got the digging done, and as you can see, I actually went ahead and built the farm. So this is, what, 95% of the way there. I've got a few little things to add in, and I think it's mainly the beds, actually. So these stone bricks won't be here, but they're just placeholders for where the beds are going to be sat on top of. And then on top of that, we'll have string and carpet, and then that will be it. Apart from the obvious challenge of getting the inhabitants into here. So we need to get... One zombie going around this track and three villagers on each of these. So that's 12 villagers in total. That means 13 entities I've got to move right now and it's going to be a real pain. So the plan I have for the villagers, it should be fairly simple. I have some salt sand there. I have a column up here that I'm going to fill with water and take them up there. And I'll put them in a holding area and then I'm going to build platforms out to above each of these glass blocks and then just drop them down onto it. That should be fairly simple. So after I got this done, I did a little bit more digging. What I'm doing here is trying to work out where this killing area is going to be. I want to do something a little bit different than just having them drop down each of these individual holes and just die there. So I'm thinking of having them go under the floor. So I'm just digging this room out just to see how it's going to look. Let's have a jump down here and we'll see what we've got going on. So the room I had before, it was wider this way and not wide enough that way. So I've just dug this out a little bit. I'm liking how this is looking. So what we've got here, it, it is a bit of a mess at the minute. This will look pretty, don't worry. This is where the golems are going to fall down. And what I'm thinking is they're going to travel along on water streams rather than just die there, as I said, and come to a central area, probably in the middle, which is around here somewhere, I think. I'm going to have a lava blade there that will kill them all. What I plan on doing is having glass at this level. 
So the whole floor will be glass and we'll be able to see the golems moving around underneath the floor, heading to the center where they're going to meet their demise. And then around there, not decided exactly where, but I'm going to have the storage around in between these drop shoots that they come, that we'll see the golems flying down. Still got a lot of work to do, but before we get on with that, I need to get on with moving these villages. Or well, actually, I'm probably going to move the zombie first, which I do have in here. He's sat right there. He's very well protected. I didn't want anything bad to happen to him. Will you stop turning around? I'm talking about you. I didn't want anything bad to happen to him. So I'll put him in this iron box. And he's been alright so far. But I do need to get him moved. So I will be moving the villagers up this soul sand elevator. And I suppose I could do the same for him. But he's already in a minecart. He needs to be in a minecart when he gets up there. And I don't want to take him out of it. To be honest, I don't want to be... Taking him out of it, getting him into a bubble elevator, and then putting him back into a minecart. So I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to find a way of building a minecart track all the way up there. And it is quite fast. Where are we now? We're at 24, and I think he needs to be at about level 50-ish. So that's, that's going to be fun. I'm going to need to build a track, but we'll get on with that. Anyway, the villagers. Once I move them out of here, I put them in this... What are you doing there? Why? I thought I stopped this. So I put them in here. I set up a little villager breeder. Now I did just have them in here with a few beds just to get them going. But golems kept spawning in there. And as I said, I thought I fixed that. But anyway, what I've done since then is I got rid of all the other villagers and I just put the four beds. And this is the standard grandma mommy villager breeder that I always use. So I've done that. And then if we drop down here we can see where they're all going and now you can hear them and there's a fair few of them because this this has been running all the time i've been digging and this guy got dropped in there but never mind i think there's 12 i can't quite count but i think i may have more than i need in here so this shouldn't be a problem getting these moved so the first thing i need to do is get this zombie up there let's get a minecart track built okay so first step done i've got this minecart track going all the way down there from that little line box up to where this track is so it, in theory, you should just whiz along here and fly straight off there and either into that pool or into that track. It doesn't matter because this is the way around it needs to go. So let's get down there and give this a go. Right, so what do we need to do? Let's put a power rail there. And remove that. You're going to be real happy with me, are you? Okay. This is going to work. This is definitely going to work. Yeah, so we'll break those, put a, oh, can I do this? Just go that way. All right, go, go. All right, he's off. I should have brought himself another mic out, but never mind. Let's get up there, see what's going on. Okay, is he going around? Or is he st oh, yes, look at that. All right, that's job one, done. All right, so let's clean this up, and we'll get on with moving some villagers. Okay, so I've just started building this bubble elevator, and when I got up there, I realized that this could actually be a problem because this is in the middle of the iron farm. So what I was planning on doing is having a platform in the middle that all the villagers would be on. But because that zombie is now going around the edge of that, that means that all those villagers would be scared and iron golems will be spawning right in the middle. And I definitely don't want that. So I'm actually going to move this somewhere else. So what I did was pick a random spot in the wall and it just so happened to come out exactly at the top of these stairs. So I'm gonna send them up here. I'm gonna dig this a bit higher, put some soul sand probably below here somewhere, and then, yeah, let's do it there. And then we'll push all those across, and then we'll get them up there. Let's get back to it. Okay, so I think we're getting somewhere now. I've got this soul sand elevator in. I've got the soul sand here. I've used the kelp to turn all this into the water source blocks, and I do have a little area cornered off up there that they can go straight into and then i've just built these slabs straight across to where they are and pro tip this is the way i like doing it if we just have a half slab on the floor and a half slab just above where the heads are i can crouch into here because this is only one only a one and a half block gap but the villagers can't get out so this is quite handy if they need a bit of persuasion which they will do along here because I, ha I haven't set up a, a constant water stream so i'm just going to let them out and because there's so many, they'll probably just push each other along. And then I'll just strategically place a water bucket here and there just to give them a little gentle persuasion. What I'm going to do now 
is break this thing and see what happens. Okay. This should go really well. Right, they're out. They're on the move. Come on. Push. You don't want to go back that way. You're going to a new home. It's going to be fun. Right, well, they're not moving, are they? So let's try and get some water down there. That didn't work. No, no, I don't want to trade. All right. This could be harder than I thought. All right, water there. Will that do anything? Right, that's movement. I like it. So keep placing at the back. Once they get away from this a bit, because I think they're actually trying to get back to the village because I didn't drop this down far enough. So once they get away a little bit, they should stop fighting. Come on, get going. I have absolutely no idea how many I've got here, by the way. Right, what, what is your problem? Go. There we go, thank you. Right, go, go, go. Right, what's going on down here? Let's let's just get a few of them up there for now. Let's make sure it's working properly so none of them die. Keep going. Come on, keep going. Uh, what I've done here, I've done a little turn. So, because I thought it'd be quite difficult to get them straight in there. So, it just goes around here into this corner. And then, they're just going to push each other in there, aren't they? No, they're not. I'm going to have to do it. All right, and I'm going to ride up with these first few just to make sure everything's going all right. All right, they're in. All right, so I've got three of them up here now. That looks like it's working. Brilliant. Okay, so I need a way of getting out of here where they can't get out. So if I just do that, that's one and a half, isn't it? So I can't crouch through there. Yes. All right, have we got any more coming up? We've got four. Right, that's good. Right, so I'm going to get down there. I'm going to push the rest of these up. And we'll come back and try them and try and get them into their cells. Okay, so I've got them all up here now. I pushed through all the villages that were down there. And as luck would have it, I have exactly 12. So I didn't plan this, it just worked very, very well. So after they all came up here, I've sectioned them off. So they're now in four groups of three. So I can just break into the side of the wall and push them to whichever cell they need to go to. Very close to completing this now. All we need to do is get the beds on there with the string and carpet on top and then the chains around the point where they're gonna be standing. And then it's just a simple case of building something like this going across with a water drop below that, just so they don't take any damage when they fall. And then that will be it. That will be the farm complete. So then at that point, we should have golems start to spawn. And then all I need to do is just sort out the killing area at the bottom. So just going to get the materials I need now to get these beds in. And then we'll get on with moving these villages across. Okay, so those are all now in. We've got all the beds in and then everything around that to keep the villages trapped. And I've built... This first platform, oh, excuse the look of it, but this will be going. This is just to get them over there. And if we have a look, there is actually some water in there as well to break the fall. So they should be okay. If I just push them in there, they shouldn't be able to get anywhere and they shouldn't take any damage. So in theory, if I break this, this should be all right. So let's just put a few blocks in here so the water doesn't go anywhere. And if we put that there, they should get pushed that way. And same deal again, we've got the half slabs around the bottom so I can get out, but they can't get anywhere. Going well so far. I just don't want the water to go right to the end. All right, there you go in. No, 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 no. Right, that's going right to the end, that one. So this should be all right. So hopefully I haven't escaped anywhere. Right, they're all down there. It took a little bit of damage, but it should be good. All right, so let's just get rid of all this because we don't want the golems spawning anywhere they shouldn't be. Right, so I'm going to get rid of the rest of these blocks. I'll keep an eye on this and I'll see what happens. Right, so those are trying to sleep now, so hopefully something should happen here. There we go. First iron golem. Absolutely brilliant. So, yes, this is working. I've done everything right. Didn't try and spawn anywhere they shouldn't. And should have that first one down there now, so let's go have a look. And there he is. And as iron golems don't take fall damage, he's just sat there looking happy. There you go. So, I do need to put in a way of killing these. Oh, and there's a second one already. Look at, oh, this is going well. Right, so obviously I need to get all the other villages in, but at least we know this is working. So give me a minute and I'll get all those in now. And there we have it. That is all of the villages in. And as you can see, the golems are now flowing. If we just watch this zombie go around, we get an iron golem at every one of these spawning pads. So I think that's the third one we've seen. So if we just go to this last one, I should get another one just over there. And there he is. Now they're all working we can get on with the killing. And we don't actually need to do anything else up here now, apart from cosmetic stuff, making this look a bit prettier, which as you can see, it doesn't at the moment. 
but we will get to that eventually. So for now, let's get downstairs and see what's going on. Okay, so we're back down here in what is going to be our killing area, but we don't have our fancy setup going yet. So the plan is to have water streams going around here and pushing all the golems into one central area where they'll be killed. But that will probably take a little bit of time to work out and then set up. So for now, I've just gone the old fashioned way. I've got the lava around the signs and I've done that in each one. So they just die on the hoppers and then the iron. And I've got a torch. And the poppies just go into these chests. So we've these, these have been running barely any time at all so far, and we've already got a couple of stacks. So, this has gone very well. We've got our fancy iron farm set up, and as you can see, these golems are coming in thick and fast. So, very excited to get this killing mechanism set up, but for now, I think we're just going to leave it like this. Because, as you can imagine, moving villages, building iron farms, it does take a very long time. So, unfortunately, I have run out of time, so I'm going to have to leave it there. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>